Hello guys, I'm Nebarot and today I will talk about what equipment we need for uh, black metal, for uh, black metal guitar tone and I will show you some of the, some of the equipment I, I use like uh, like pedals, like uh, microphones, like guitar cabinets, like uh, amplifiers, and etc. And uh, first, first part, first part uh, will be uh, black metal with real equipment, uh, and later I. I show you my I set up a, spe a specific room just for uh, recording my uh, my guitar and uh, I show you what stuff I using for uh, real equipment for a black metal I'm I'm sure uh, every single one of you can find this stuff at, at home like example some buffer amplifier some like example some cheap microphone probably like 15 or 20 um, doors i mean uh, microphone but in my case i just use like a very uh, i i use for guitar cabinet i using uh, some buffer i'm not joke i using samsung buffer and to be honest, I get very brutal black metal uh, guitar tone from this uh, subwoofer. Uh, and uh, to be honest, the price on a subwoofer is like 18, maybe 20 dollars. Or in British pounds, it's like, let's say, 16, 15, 16 pounds, something like that. And uh, but in, I invest uh, many more expensive microphones because uh, I want I wanted to to catch every uh, the sound on a, on a, on a speaker uh, the, the the microphone from the and it's captured the signal from the speaker to be to be good microphones expensive ones. Because uh, I, w I was uh, in that day, I will I will I get maximum from this uh, subwoofer from this speaker. To be honest, this speaker is uh, nothing standard like in uh, guitar market. That is a home subwoofer, but just with my uh, because I use it with uh, like. No, no amplifier, no amplifier for a uh, for guitar. I use it like no, normal amplifier. And uh, what I do is, uh, I, my, my guitar is put directly to my distortion pedal. And from my distortion pedal, the signal is going through directly to the amp. And the signal from the amp is going to the, to the subwoofer, like normal speaker. And on the front of the subwoofer, I replace two microphones. Uh, the first one is uh, AC Electronics V7X, uh, and the second one is uh, Shure SM57, the classic microphone uh, for recording uh, vocals, uh, for recording guitars, the, like like we uh, guitarists, we, we like we like to say I will mic up I will mic up like example this this cabinet to, to capture the sound on, on this cabinet and to be honest for the black metal uh, guitar tone you don't need so much expensive equipment I mean uh, like example you can find the very cheap distortion pedal like for like used or second hand I mean and uh, you can go like example for a uh, more cheap guitar i mean like you can find uh, example like for 80 maybe 90 90 dollars guitar i mean for beginner is is perfectly fine and uh, uh 
uh, and after that I will show you uh, like example let's say the same I, I will record with my my whoop pedal I will record the same same riff and uh, we hear how it sounds on this riff in the, the direct in my DAW with uh, real equipment and after that I will, I will send the same uh, whoop uh, signal directly to uh, directly to my DAW with a uh, with plug-in amp with a plug-in uh, cabinet and um, so let's get started so that is the that is the actual the actual uh, guitar cabinet with microphones and I just put this uh, this is like normal cover for a bed I just uh, put it on the top to to isolate to isolate the, the sound a bit and let's see what is what is behind how we can see that is a normal box that is a normal box uh, that is the normal box and uh, that is the setup I use for uh, recording uh, black metal with real equipment and that is the actual whoop uh, coming directly from the whoop pedal I mean and, uh, and after that and after that this this these two uh, boat cables I mark them like example this is for uh, uh, AC Electronics microphone, which is the, the, the left microphone. This microphone, and uh, uh, another one is for the for the shore, which is the right microphone. And I just connect them in my uh, my sound card, my my USB interface, and that is how I recorded. Uh, I I make them. Uh, let me just to move a bit down the camera. I I tied with, uh, with cable tears. I tied the the both microphones. I make a hole on this box. This box is actually from the sure uh, microphone. And uh, here I make two holes. Here two holes. Four holes on every single microphone. And I I tie them with uh, with cable tears, and for me that way, just with this box, I can move both both microphones on a different uh, position, on a different position, on a on a on the on a front of the speaker. And normally, how I set up, I leave I leave a gap like uh, like uh, three. Maybe three, three, not three inches. Like, uh, like um, it's like half centimeter, something like that. Like example, that is the that is the maximum gap I leave between the microphone and uh, and uh, and the uh, speaker. Or, or similar or similar distance that is like one centimeter between half half centimeter to one uh, to one centimeter I leave space just the the both microphones they to they to they to um, breathe a bit to to go to catch the sound and that is that is how I record black metal with uh, real equipment and here is my amplifier so that is the that is the that is a normal normal amplifier i need so that is the so guys that is the amplifier 
the distortion uh, signal is going directly to the arm from my uh, pedal and from here the signal is going to the to the is going to the cabinet is going to the cabinet how you can see that is a samsung subwoofer i'm not joe how you can see samsung subwoofer but it's work perfectly for black metal uh, guitar tone and from here i I just uh, I choose the 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 level on the uh, volume level I mean, and uh, that is the settings. Uh, no, I'm not I'm not boost uh, the 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 low frequencies. I keep them to the minimum because for black metal we don't need uh, so much low frequencies. And these two cables, after that, these two cables I connect them. I connect them. How you can see there, uh, I, I sign them just to know because when I put the, the cover over the, over the subwoofer with the both microphones just to know outside the box which which cable is for which microphone and uh, so just record black metal Excuse me. I have a question. Yes. Does have a specific guitar amp or guitar cabinet for black metal? No. The ash, the actual black metal guitar tone is not in the is not in the amp. It's not in the cab, and is in is on a uh, on a tremolo style. From there is coming the black metal uh, the black metal guitar tone. From the treble picking, when when the when you when you uh, when you treble picking the strings, that's that that is the way how is create the black metal tone. There is no specific uh, uh, guitar amp just for black metal or uh, guitar cabinet just for black metal. First time I hear some kind of crap specific amp for black metal every amp can be useful for black metal every single amp from small amp to bigger to to to, to from small amp to big amps like uh, uh, 100 watts and etc this uh, loud big uh, two guitar apps but for the black metal we we uh, we need specific guitar tone we need specific guitar tone and exactly and exactly when when you will play a tremolo like example like example this is a tremolo tremolo style but we can see that is the tremolo style that is the partial pick in my like this is where the black metal guitar tone because, because in the same time 
on the same time you will hit I, I hit like example the third string but at the same time I hit in the uh, I hit both string and, and third string at the same time but here my my fingers there are like on a different like on a uh, I play them like example like example uh four string four 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 string second fret and this finger is on the uh, uh, third string, four fret, and that is the sound. And that is it. I just hold here my my uh, my lead to keep going, and this sound I just keep the same speed. That is it. The black metal. What? That is the black metal. There is no specific arm for black metal or specific guitar cabinet for black metal or uh, for strings I, for, I forgot to mention guys for string I'm using uh, I, I think they, uh, the, the strings they are uh, the Dario they are like 1142 I mean the for the first string is uh, 11 and the uh, and, uh, sixth string is 32. Because for black metal we no need like example uh, for example 1149 or something like that. We no need so much thick uh, strings for a black metal. We need uh, tiny strings because because with tiny strings you get this this specific black metal guitar tone like this tone yeah okay thank you for your information uh, for distortion pedal you can use i'm not using for the when i recording with real equipment i'm not using uh I'm not using uh, distortion pedal plugin because how to say it? for me the real distortion pedal you can take very brutal sound than the uh, uh, than uh, plugin because we never like for example I will never I will I will never prefer the plugin a plugin than a real equipment like a real distortion pedal because for me from distortion pedal I can take a real uh, uh, black metal guitar tone that's why I'm using real distortion pedal no a plugin I hope I hope this is uh, answer on your question yes of course thank you guys if you like my video give subscribe to my channel and bye